Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first in a series of tutorials for how to do aircraft in 3D Studio Max. Uh, what I'm going to concentrate on today is getting your 3View uh, blueprint into 3D Studio Max so that you can start to edit it. I'm going to use PaintShop Pro to uh, uh, to get my three different views extracted from this file, uh, but you can use any program uh, pretty much that you're very comfortable with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the freehand tool and basically draw around the top view. Uh, basically, I'm going to cut out just the top view. And as you can see, I've highlighted it. It doesn't really matter how much you go outside the line because we're going to cut and paste this into a different file anyway. So I'll go edit and then copy and edit paste as a new image. And as you can see, we have the just the top view now. Then what we would do is we would select the magic wand, select anywhere in the white, and it'll select everything white. In this case, everything but the aircraft. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to selections and invert, so it now it selects just the aircraft. Then what we would do is we would go to image and crop to selection. And now what you see is a picture. We'll move this down here. We see a picture with just the top view in it, and the it's all at the outer edges at the uh, sides and the top. Now, one thing to remember is that in the top view, the front of the aircraft has to be pointing toward the top. In this case, of course, it's pointing toward the left. So what we would do in that case is go image, rotate, 90 degrees to the right, and now it rotates 90 degrees to the right, so we're pointing up. So now this one is actually good and can be ex and can be saved. So we go save, and we will go to uh, bitmap. Is what I always save mine on. So uh, I'm just going to save them on the desktop for now. Top view and save. That's that one done. Then we would basically repeat that process with the others. So we're going to do the side. And we would do Control C uh, to copy and Control V to paste as a new image. Now, the side view is going to be slightly different, and there is a reason for this. Uh, a lot of the specifications for aircraft, uh, such as height, width, and length, uh, height or uh, length and width are fine, but height generally is from the bottom of the aircraft here to the top of the tail, or the top of the aircraft, depending on which is taller. In this case here, you'll see we have the landing gear that's in the way, so we've actually got to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is basically uh, erase it. Uh, actually, I should probably do that in white. Let's try that again. Okay, so now we're going to erase everything that is not the bottom of the aircraft. And do that. And then just erase this. And the same thing here. Okay, so now we have just the aircraft itself. So, we get rid of the landing gear. So now we do the same thing we did before, use magic wand, and go selections, invert, and then image, and crop to selection, and now we have just the aircraft. And once again, we save it as a bitmap, and this is, of course, left. And we can close that, and once again, repeat with this one. So we basically highlight it, and control C, control V, and once again we have to erase the landing gear. And again, this is just because the height specifications that we're going to use actually designate from the bottom of the aircraft, not the bottom of the landing gear. And same idea. Selections, invert, and then image and crop to selection. Now, that's basically what you want to look like, and we would save it again as a bit. And of course, that's front view. Okay, so this is what we've done. We've basically now created three different views, front, top, and side. Uh, the next tutorial will actually be putting this into 3D Studio Max.